what you guys have been describing on the last you know hour or so we've been talking has been what has been living inside of you. That's what drove you all over the world, Melanie. That's what brought you in and to 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 take um, um Ste- uh, Michelle to take the brave step of doing the test, even though you had some reservations. There is something that it lives in you. We are not putting anything there in. We are just trying to find pathways to get it out, and that's what this is about. And when you know a lot of the ones that, that like the the purpose of this program is to kind of recognize those of you who. It lives in you so much that it takes you that extra step to do all this extra work that nobody is, you know, asking you to do. Nobody's paying you to do. You're just doing it right from some kind of spiritual movement inside of you that you don't even know where it's coming from. And that is the essence of the Lives in Me uh, uh, um, um, program and the winner. So without further ado, the moment of truth is here. And let me just get my little thing. Melanie Best, the fifth Lives in Me Challenge winner. I'm proud to, to announce that you tested positive for mm-hmm. the T-Car people living in Cameroon. Oh my goodness. How do you say it again? The Tikara people. Yeah, the Tikar. There is actually, uh, so we had a little bit of like, we put a little bit of something together. There's some mm-hmm. artwork and, you know, you can see some people there. And um, I thank um, Inkaru for putting these slides together. Um, some like traditional chief headdress. And this is like the location. One of the things about it is that my people from the Kalabop tribe, uh, Efik tribe in Nigeria live on the border. So you have to understand that these these borders are are Niger are um, European induced. Mm-hmm. So we could so really we're tribal. We're kind of you know we're kind of brothers and sisters and that. Um, mm-hmm. There is a little. Um, I know we are pressed for time, so I'm not. Uh, maybe we'll just send this to you. But we did have yes. a little video um, that we'll send to you where you can use. But we're going to watch it. But we can you can just see it later. It's about five minutes long and it kind of gives you a little bit of understanding mm. about the video. Uh, we're not going to go into it Many African Americans. Click over. These are some um, notable people of Tikar descent that are in the United States. So Spike Lee, um, uh, Sinbad, uh, <laughs> Condoleezza Rice, <laughs> Don Cheadles, right. And I, oh my God, I'm forgetting things. Anthony Anderson. Yes, and what, this thing here. This one, was, <laughs> I love, lovely Cheryl Lee Ralph. Yeah, come on, Marlon. Come on. Wow. Yeah, so that's that. Congratulations. Congratulations. So tell us how you, well, thank how you, you. feeling. Wow, I'm kind of like, oh man, this is this is gonna make some sense. I can't wait to to dive into my own deep waters of figuring it all out, but. I'm like, have I heard anybody ever say Cameroon? I don't know, but this is thrilling. Um, and it's and even what you said about, of course, the borders are very, you know, they're not the actual borders, but it makes sense of why they told me to welcome home, sissy. You know, <laughs> when I went to Nigeria the first time, like they can see, they could see what was inside of me. Um, and so it's beautiful. Uh, the those two connections are made. Um, and this the they're yeah. I'm happy to be part of the family. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome home, Melanie. Oh, Welcome home. gosh. 